the order that I've chosen for my run is to start off with Lugia and a bunch of low tiers just to make it easier on myself. And uh, yeah, I don't have all the teams ready, like I said, but I'm just going to go ahead and fill them in as we go. Like if I make it past all these, I'll start making more teams. I'll, I'll start using like Zamazenta and stuff, but I don't expect to in this stream. It's going to take a couple of attempts. So first team we have is the Lugia team. In my opinion, the Lugia team is very bad, but it's also very gimmicky. The reason it's so gimmicky is because it's the first one. It is quite literally the first team we're using. I am going for straight up cheese in this in this strategy, and I'm just going to do the weakness policy Salak Berry BS. That's just really bad. But we're using cheese because it allows for a fast reset and for us just to get through it. So every time we lose, we go back to Lugia, win against like a low ladder opponent, and then we move on. So yeah, uh, the rest of them are a little bit more nuanced. You know, we have the Mewtwo team that we built. We have the uh, Giratina team, the Solgal not so bad team, the Necrozma team. Uh, and we have these three are essentially the exact same team over and over and over again, just with the legendary switched around. And that's because you can honestly get away with that with these three. Like these two function pretty much the same in terms of setup, uh, but this one is just like life orb attacker and yeah. Uh, for this team, we're actually... Did I actually give this thing EVs? Yeah. We actually have Choice Scarf Lander Therian because you can run that and it's not that bad. Um, we're running Timid, Earth Power U-Turn, Sludge Bomb, Grass Knot, just because with Bulu, or with Rillaboom, it's a little bit better. But let's just go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and get into it. This is not going to be great. <laughs> this is not going to be great. Um, where is the low tier team? What was the name of that one? Hold on, VGC Iron Man Challenge. Name it one. There it is. All right, let's win against a low a low ladder opponent. Hey, thanks for the good luck. Okay, this is essentially exactly what I wanted. That's why we start off again at one thousand. I'm not going for a speed run. You could speed run this, but I'm not going for a speed run. I'm just going to go for it. Um, hey, thank you for the cheer, Bubs. I appreciate you. Don't move to Boston and tell. I might, I might move to Boston. I'm probably moving to Boston. Uh, we'll go stack and sin. Just, we'll just cheese it out. We'll just go for the cheese. He has nothing faster. I, I, I guess Minchino's faster. Does Minchino learn fake out? What's the command? I don't feel like checking. I'll check. It does not learn fake out. Okay. But yeah. His fastest Pokemon is Chinchino. I can literally just do the Salak Berry BS and probably win. Yeah. Um... Lugia can eat a hit from this Torkoal. But I probably can't take a, uh, a Rock Blast very well. I could hope that they're running a bad spread. I mean, who cares? It's the first match. We're going to reset regardless. If it doesn't work out, let's just do it. All right, cool. And the speed runs off to a great start. Um, we can go ahead and just Arrow Blast you. I can Thunderbolt you. We'll live everything. Voice band protect, please. Yeah. Cool. That was a, that was a really nice start. Like we can just get through the Lugia. Lugia is honestly the one that I hate playing the most. Like I hate using this Lugia team so much. It's really bad. Um, but just getting through it, speed wise, is what matters. Nice, not focus sash. This should let us live everything from Torkoal. Don't have yawn. Goes for a heat wave. That's perfectly fine. We pretty much win. There's Zerkatry. Yeah, you are priority number one. Um, I don't drop to anything Torkoal does. Unless it's like Scarf Zerkatry, but we should still at speed because it's so slow. And also we have freaking Lightning Rod. Yeah, no, you're just going to lose your Rayquaza now. And you also turned off the sun you turned off the sun I can always go stack attack -a.
Air Blast Rock Slide is my play. I guess I could have gone Incineroar as well, but I think we just win regardless. Trigger Tree would be a lot better if I had Lightning Rod. I'll, I'll say that much. Go full screen. I don't really need to go full screen. Nah. I think the chat is a little bit more interesting for this stream, you know? Cool. That should give me a double KO if they don't Earth Power, which I think I might live anyways. Yeah, I should get a double KO here. And now I just win by clicking Fake Out Trick Room. GG. No need to risk a miss. I will Flare Blitz and I will Gyro Ball. Nice. Epic. I think I have a message. People keep texting me. I'm having a party tonight and I like... I'm getting messages. There we go. All right. Got through that one. Hardest one out of the way. We move on to Brain Blast. Second hardest one, in my opinion. I would, but that'd make me mega sus. Okay, this is actually pretty great. I actually really like this uh, this matchup, mainly because, like, they don't have a Zacian. Like, this team's biggest weakness is Zacian. <laughs> so... Getting, getting through this is really nice. Um, I would very much enjoy leading off with... I think... Is Trick Room the play? I don't want to lead off with the um, Incineroar. I can go Incineroar, Mewtwo, Lele in the back. And what I can try to do is call them protecting their Whimsicott on the fake out. That actually be really nice. Um, Amoongus also looks great here. Yeah. I think they always call the... They should always call the fake out. But it isn't necessarily the worst if they don't. I, I really don't lose much from them calling the fake out. Yeah, I really don't. Um... I could side strike too. I'm gonna side strike fake out. I think that'll KO. Yeah. That's fine. They they have lost their um <laughs> They've lost their uh what's it called? They've lost their tailwind privileges. They sent out Nihiligo, yeah. Uh tailwind privileges revoked. Let me go for expanding force. Nihiligo might survive this. Um Which is why I want to side strike instead of expanding force. Because I am focused Ash. I'd rather have Nihilo go go down than anything. That's fine. Uh, now I can lock myself into... I should Dazzling Gleam. Banding Force. That's probably my best play. Because it covers Sash and everything. And it should knock out Landers every time. Nothing here seems to be Scarf. Unless they have Scarf Lando. Yeah, that's game. Awesome. Hey, we get the forfeit. Awesome, awesome. So that's two games in a row. Moving on to the Giratina team. So, so far, we got three down. How many teams do I have in here? I don't know. Uh, Not a terrible matchup. Not, not a terrible matchup. Hmm. I definitely want Giratina on lead. I don't think I'm gonna lead off Incineroar. I think I'm gonna lead off with um I think I can lead off. I don't have safety goggles on my instant. I wish I did. I can go a lucky Giratina and that wouldn't be awful. Because I threaten a lot. I definitely want my Incineroar, but I have to be careful in this matchup with it. Um Urshifu doesn't look 
too bad, especially with the sash. That fallen respectfully. Okay, cool. It's actually a really nice lead. Um, I was able to do this. And then on the next turn, I'm actually going to Thunderbolt Earth Power, and that might be enough to KO the Incend, depending on the spread. They should never stay in with Milotic. I really hope this is enough. It's probably not, but it'd be great if it was. You don't stay in with Milotic here. I'm Magnet. This should be enough. I'm Magnet. There's no way. There's no way. Please be safety goggles, too. If you're Citrus, that might be an issue. There's the Grim Snarl. Please. Oh, that's not enough. Okay. If you Snarl, it's whatever. I don't really lose much. I was gonna... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, if it wasn't Citrus, I probably would have KO'd there. Oh, man. Okay, there's the Milotic. Um, I don't think Milotic ever sh lets me hit it. I could just will o -Wisp Volt Switch and I don't lose anything. Going to Urshifu. Alright, well, first of all, that was dumb. <laughs> Why would you click that? Okay. Interesting. Um... I mean, I'm just going to go back into a Leki. I'm really surprised they clicked that. Close combat should KO the Milotic here. I'm not really concerned about Grim Snarl. I beat it within Sin. Fine. Dragon Pulse, interesting. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Wouldn't have KO'd. Effect. Uh, I'll go into my own Incineroar here. Should never lose it. And this thing's always in range of Thunderbolt as long as they're not light screen. Yeah. Uh, are they in range of Volt Switch? How much did my T-Bolt do? I can kind of gauge it from there. T-Bolt did 51. Uh, Volt Switch should do 84, 108. I think it should be enough. I can also fake out. That's really safe. Or I guess my play's departing shot, technically. Yeah. Uh, and I'll get back in my Urshfu because it's not needed anymore. And then I just cycle Intimidate for the rest of the game. Nice. Yeah, just cycle Intimidate. Should be pretty safe. Double Protect. Trying to guess his Protect. Alright, he wants to go for the Behemoth there. It's safer to Volt Switch in the Grim Snarl, if anything, since they don't typically carry Protect. And I'll sack my Urshfu this turn. Does like nothing. And I'm Citrus, so that's great. I suppose I can Surging Strikes this Grim Snarl. Or I can do this. Yeah. Uh, now it's in range of Thunderbolt, so I should always win. They should be going for um, a Sacred Sword here, so...
Let's see. Sacred Sword? They protect. Nice. And I get fully paralyzed. That's fine. Didn't matter in the end. I always Thunderbolt. And I start clicking Earth Power. Dude, why do you keep clicking that? <laughs> Alright, we'll take it. We'll take it. This is why we went for the low tiers first. This is why we went for the low tiers first. The games are almost free at times. Next up. Dustmade Necrozma. I'm really hoping we get a Xerneas matchup. Is Actually, this isn't terrible either. There are a lot of ghosts, which is kind of annoying, and I don't want to get will o -Wisp, but this isn't that bad. Yeah, uh, this really isn't that bad. Hmm... Hey, Think Storm, what's up? I think for this game, uh, I definitely leave Bulu at home. I can lead off Zapdos pretty reliably. Do I have Taunt on this thing? I forgot. I do. Taunt could actually be really, really clutch here. We'll go Incineroar, Zapdos on lead, Necrozma on the back. Actually, Tapu Bulu isn't that bad. It's just not ideal. Uh, it's going to be really nice for beating Primarina. Is it worth it, though? I think it's worth it. Awesome. Uh, I can always fake out Regieleki and Taunt. That should always be safe. Hopefully they're not ally switch. That'd be really annoying. Fake out does go first though, so it wouldn't matter too much. Nice little crit there. Taunt. Awesome. And I should always be able to get the Selecki. They thunder me. Okay. Get rid of that, and Zapdos is looking better and better. There's their Incineroar. Interesting. Uh, I don't necessarily agree with that play, because I'm always going to do this. I am always going to do this, and I'm going to stay in. Um, I can also go Tapu Boo. I can Parting Shot. Awesome. <laughs> check this out, check this out. I still get to taunt that Calyrex. But I think it's better just to... I mean, they should never stay in with their Incineroar. Realistically speaking, that makes no sense. I'm going to double the Calyrex. They should never stay in with Incineroar here. It always goes down. Dang, okay. Interesting. Uh, does it make a difference, though? It really doesn't. will is kind of annoying, though. Can't lie. Do this. Mm. Yeah, nice. Hopefully they will o me. Awesome, awesome. That is a free taunt. As a free taunt and a free parting shot, probably into Tapu Bulu. And I can close combat for a KO. Yeah, Will O Wisp and Cinder was kind of crazy. Oh, they are ally switch. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Let me get in the Bulu. I'm in a close combat. I'm done with this thing. I'm done with this thing, dude. Um, I still taunt every time. Go close combat. Yep, that's fine. I hate this thing so much. He's not clicking it again. No way you click that three turns in a row. It's also, like, not doing any damage, so... I'm willing to sword stance here. Trick room is up. Don't care. Uh, Sunsteel Strike the Dusclops, because it has no damage output. It's going to ally switch, and I'm going to get this Calyrex. I am not losing at ally switch. I will not lose at ally switch. I refuse to lose at ally switch, dude. Ally switch again. See what happens. You know you want to. You know you want to ally switch. 
Okay, I don't care. I got fake out now. Like honestly, like what's your what what threat do you pose to me? Like realistically speaking, what threat do you pose? Why would I never just do this? Yeah, that's cool. That's that's fine and dandy, man. That is actually fine and dandy. Check this out. 1.5 attack. You don't KO me. You straight up don't. I always parting shot Sunsteel Strike. And he's running Crunch too. Dude, get out of here. No, I'm not playing against Ally Switch. And I'm winning. You are not ending my Iron Man. You are not ending my Iron Man with Crunch Calyrex. Alright, next up. <sighs> this is a team I've never used before. Alright. I haven't used this one yet. Hmm. Not terrible. This isn't a bad matchup. I got wide... I, I have safety goggle, stack attack, and I got a Raccoonid. Kind of scared for this thing, honestly. Honestly, I'm kind of scared. Uh, but I should be able to just, like, lead off Indeedee, stack attack, and be, like, in a pretty good spot. Hmm. Doesn't Galady get inner focus? No. It's justified. Alright, so he could be beat up, so indeed he's always going to be my lead here regardless of what he goes with. Um, I'll go indeed stack. That's fine. Raccoon is looking mighty fine, and I'll go Rush Ram. Yeah. As long as Rush Ram shows up, it counts. I think they really got no counterplay for this, do they? Alright. Um, I can expanding force. I don't lose anything here, at least not to Calyrex. And I'll trick her. Throw chop. Okay. Incredible. Here I'm gonna wide guard and go into a Raquinid. They do call it. They do call it. Um, be able to do this. Yeah, Calyrex is gone. Mystic Water, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Yeah, no. That on every team that like I feel like just struggles like i just brought stack attacker because it's so good um the whole rest of the team loses to restoram so we can actually clean up with that he has to play guess the safety goggles which is always fun guess the safety goggles is probably my favorite game yeah the rest of his team just loses to restoram like nothing hits it except for maybe galade i miss on the incinerage which kind of sucks but i don't mind Really? He reveals his last Pokemon's Gallade. I think that's fine. Pretty slow. You can go for a Gyro Ball. You can also just go into a Raquinid. Try to Expanding Force. Do I really need to, though? I really don't. I can just sack and let a Raquinid come in. Nice. Uh, like I said, I should just be fine. I'm gonna protect here because the follow me could be really nice. Gyro Ball again. Don't mind losing my stack at all, really. Fine too. Got Will O Wisp, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna go for another protect. And uh, I don't mind losing my stack, it always goes down. I really want to damage that Gallade. Really, the Gallade's in range of Fusion Flare now, so I should be fine just to go into my guy. Into my Rush Ram and win. Yeah, it's the prequel to Where's the Speed Control. Okay, indeed he wakes up. That's phenomenal. That's actually great for me. Lose my guy. Lose my guy. I'm gonna go to my Rush Ram now. Actually, do I go in my Arachnid? I think I go into Arachnid. 
Nah, I can go to the restaurant. Actually, mm, if I go into restaurant, I need to follow me. Because that guarantees I don't lose my Ndidi this turn. Not Earth Power, though, Incineroar. I think Life Orb Modest Earth Power should do it. This thing's got a really high special attack set. 150, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Yep, nice. And we get the KO. That's awesome. I don't think we lose at all now. Good game. Good game. All right, cool. Fusion Flare. Let's drop that on him. GG's. Awesome. All right. So, managed to make it through that. Next up, a little bit easier. Here in black. Hopefully, we can get paired up with um, a Torn Ogre team. Oh, God. <laughs> no, this is where the run ends. This is straight up where the run ends. Um, I think the run ends at this one. This one seems like unwinnable. Yikes. Uh, Lando is my best friend. This is, can you look at it? Our restricted is Kurum. <laughs> oh God. Uh, yeah, Lando, Lando leads my best friend. And I think I bring Rillaboom for fake out BS. My Rillaboom is going to get burnt like turn one. I, I could also, I'm going to bring Kurum regardless. I am not losing my streak here. I could try to play without it and just use like stack attack as a restricted, but it's probably not going to be great. Um, or, 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 um, I can go a Rakuted Lando on lead and that isn't terrible. I'm going to bring the Kurum. I'm going to bring the Kurum. That's probably Dark Urshifu. I'm going to go stack two. Okay, no, this is fine. Um, this is fine. I can't be burned on anything. I can prevent Trick Room, even though Trick Room kind of helps me. I want to do that. I could U-turn. I really don't want the Mimikyu to get off um, get off Trick Room, because then maybe Registeel is kind of annoying. And I don't really mind the Tailwind, because it's going up regardless, so I'm going to U-turn. They faint me. Hello? It was bulk up? Hello? Wait, was it red card? I didn't select that. Yeah, it was red card. Hello? I can go back into Lando. No, no. Because I don't want my Kyrim to get burned. You know what? This is my play. Check this out. You're going to call me crazy. And I am. I'm about to go crazy. I'm about to go crazy. They don't understand. Go ahead. Take the Kyurem. I don't care. I don't care. Take the Kyurem. I'm going to go crazy in this match. I'm going to go crazy. This is a two shot. This is 100% a two-shot against Zacian. If they, they they have to target the Kyurem, too. They can't let the Kyurem just sit there. Oh, they got nothing for this. It would seem they got nothing for this. Um, I need to keep a Rakunid healthy, which kind of sucks. I'm going to let my... The rest of my team beats whatever's in the back, as long as it's not Water Urshifu. And Kyurem would lose to that anyways, so I'm gonna sack Kyurem here and try to KO. That's fine. I'm going back. Gonna get this thing. This is gone. This is gone. It's mine. I've, I've already I've already decided it's mine. Whatever comes in isn't liking this liquidation, and they can't KO me. Oh 
They're running play rough. No. Okay, that's fine. Guys, uh, that scared the heck out of me. And I think we lose. I got a sneaking suspicion we lose now. I need to keep my Lando. I'll sack the stack. Mm, they don't know I'm play rough. Come on. Please. This should KO. This should KO. No! <laughs> Why? Why? Um... I think this is, like, my only chance. He's going for the rock slide here. And hoping I live a close combat at minus one. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. The comeback? The comeback? Check it. Check it. They got nothing. They got nothing for this. Trick Room, Fusion Bolt. That's my play every single time. I'm at plus one. Fusion Bolt always KOs this thing. And I might be faster. I'm probably not. Oh, yeah. Kiram. Kiram bringing it back. And we also just live that. Funny enough. I didn't think I would. Kiram brings it back. Okay. That was awful. That was literally the worst. Like, so much went wrong. Like, the team wasn't that great, but on preview, it felt like a hard counter team. Luckily, it was just strange. GG. Luckily, it was just kind of strange. Time for the last of the, uh, of the Dragon Trio. Oh, this is actually really nice. Watch, now that I said that this is a good... Now that I said that this is a good matchup, it's gonna be really awful. Uh, I guess I don't really like the Eveltal much. And there is a lot that can go wrong for, for Zekrom in this matchup. There's no Intimidate, so I can't make use of my White Herb. I suppose the Electroweb Speed Drop would be fun to make to make use of. Um, and I honestly think that uh, Lando is going to be an amazing lead here. And Ndidi could be nice. Ndidi could be quite nice. Trick Room also looks awesome. I think I'm going to go Zekrom, Lando, stack a rack. Yeah, stack a rack. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we face off against the annoying Urshifu version. Do I give him a rack when it first? He's gotta fake out the Zekrom, right? Like he's gotta. And he doesn't like Earth Power. I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a rack when it first, because yeah. Okay, yeah, that's awesome. That's a two shot. That is choice banned. Just gonna put that out there right now. Just gonna put it out there. That is choice banded. And or no, it's not. It's the Eveltal that just came out and destroyed me. Eveltal's also pretty fast. <laughs> uh if there's anything that lives that, it's this. I'm going to Trick Room up and try to KO. Really doubt I get it. Forgot how busted the Veltal Urshifu could be on paper. Okay. Maybe. Living Wing, I should tank that. I should always KO this Urshifu now. But I probably lose unless I can get really lucky here. Okay, check it. He's calling the protect. Right? <laughs> oh my god! No! <laughs> Why did that survive on one? It was in the bag! <laughs> it was in the bag! <laughs> Why did it survive on one? <laughs> Dude! I hate you. 
Oh, man. Of course the run ends on Zekrom, though. Yeah, that's the end of the run. I, I could try again. I suppose what I could do is I could, for the rest of the stream, I could team build for the other mons that we didn't have prepared. But that's that's straight up the end of the... Did he just sword stance again? You know, this isn't this isn't impossible. If he misses two play roughs, I could win. I always protect her, though. I need him to miss two play roughs, which is honestly possible. He's probably not, but it's possible. Come on. I've, I've been I've been just as unlucky. Please miss two. I have missed two. He missed one. He missed one. Oh. <laughs> he just set up trick room. Okay, yeah, good game. Good game. All right, good game. Ah, uh, the run ends on Zekrom, unfortunately. Run ends on Zekrom. So, how far did we get on our first attempt? One, two, three, four, five, six, and we lost on seven. Honestly, I think if we won the Zekrom one, I could very easily make it through the rest of what was prepared. 